Okay, fifth reading, Parsha Shlach, chapter 15, verse 8. If you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering or sacrifice by expressing a vow or for a peace offering for the Lord, with the young bull, you shall offer up a meal offering, offering uh, up a meal offering consisting of three tenths fine flour mixed with half a hen of oil, and you shall offer a half a hen of wine for a libation, a fire offering, a pleasing fragrance for the Lord. So here we know that the people knew how to burn things; they would burn to our, uh, sacrifices. So people always like to say, "Well, you know, the only reason people keep kosher is because of trichinosis, and if they only knew how to cook the pig." Properly, they won't have gotten sick. So clearly, they knew how to use fire, and clearly, they knew how to burn things and cook things all the way through. So that whole argument that the only reason we don't eat pigs is because we didn't know how to cook a pig is totally stupid. So, verse 11. So shall it be done for each ox or ram, and for the young sheep or young goat. And according to the number you offer up, so shall you present for each one according to their numbers. Each native born shall do it in this manner, to offer up a, f a fire offering of, of pleasing a fragrance to the Lord. If a proselyte resides, as somebody who converts, if a proselyte resides with you or those among you in the future generations, and he or she offers up a fire offering of ple pleasing fragrance to the Lord as you make it, so shall he make it. One rule applies to the assembly for yourselves and for the proselyte who resides with you. One rule applies throughout your generations, just as it is for you, so it is for the proselyte before the Lord. There shall be one law and one ordinance for you and the proselyte who resides with you. I don't know how the, I don't know how the Bible could make it more clear. So that ends the fifth reading.